As 3D printing technology advances, better prints become more accessible. With the AnyCubic Photon M3 Premium, we have an 8K printer that aims to accomplish just that and overall bring a more accessible package. I'm James Hertz from MUO, and we're going to talk about whether the M3 Premium deserves its name and what kind of prints you can get with it. Now, when first looking at the M3 Premium, there's some physical details that you want to keep in mind. First off, in terms of its sizing, it is a larger printer, so it measures out at around 25 by 13 by 14 inches, and it weighs around 19 kilograms or just shy of 41 pounds. So when you're looking to place this printer, you do want to put it on the appropriate weight bearing surface, especially if you're considering weighing in around two of these printers on something like a fold up table, it's probably not going to tolerate it. Now, another thing about it is they've once again gone with the laser engraved build plate, and this allows for better adhesion. So you're not gonna have to worry about something like sanding the surface of the build plate. Now, in terms of other functional design elements, let's talk about those for the M3 Premium, starting with its touchscreen. It measures out at 4.3 inches, so it's slightly smaller than some other printers of its equivalent size range. And usually I judge these by responsiveness and whether they fit the size of the likes of my hands. And overall, I had no problems navigating through the menus fluidly. Now, another popular discussion point is the location of the USB port. Now, with M3 Premium, it is not opted to put it at the front of the printer. Instead, it's on the right side, albeit towards the front. So this will slightly affect the placement of the printer. Now, another thing is with this USB port, if you're not using any Cubics include USB, you do want to use something that's appropriately formatted as well as something that does not exceed eight gigabytes in size. This is just to prevent things like USB related errors or other compatibility issues. Now, when looking at the N3 Premium as a member of the Photon printer family lineup, you can either look at it as an upgrade or a standalone unit. Since I worked with the N3 Plus, I thought of this as more of an upgraded version that's gonna appeal to the same kind of users. Now, when you look at the N3 Premium in that regard, it does have a larger LCD screen with a 10 inch 8K monochrome LCD screen versus the 9.25 inches of the like of the Plus. So if you're the type that's looking to squeeze in an extra model, or you're looking to fit in that slightly longer model piece, but you couldn't before, you do have that added benefit. Now, another thing is to talk about the actual resolution of it. It does have an XY resolution of 28.5 microns. And in terms of its build volume, it has approximately 250 by roughly 123 by 219 millimeters with a 6.7 liter max print volume. Now, beyond this, it's important to acknowledge there's still any Cubics upgraded light source. So the live turbo light source. So this provides better light uniformity to reduce the chance of light strain and affecting your print quality. And to extend the life of this light source, the cooling fans will automatically adjust to keep the temperature down. So you're not running out of that light source's longevity as quickly. Now, when looking at the N3 Premium and how you set it up and your first exposure to actually dealing with the build plate, it's again a very intuitive process and one that's been very streamlined by any cubic to be easy, even if you're a beginner who's never set up a 3D printer before. Now, there's overall the standard process where you're going to be leveling the build plate. So you're going to want to tear off any protective film. You're going to raise the Z-axis loosen the screws, install the actual build platform, and then lower it to home and set the Z position after using something like the included leveling paper. So again, you're gonna firmly press down and make sure everything's tightened and get that kind of good default setup. From there, installing the resin vat is very simple. The knobs on it are very easy to install. And once they're securely tightened in, they're going to keep the vat in place very securely. Now, other things to keep in mind is this unit has air purifiers. The installation of these is considerably easier than something like an automatic feed system on other members of the Photon lineup. And it's a very simple process of just removing their tops, removing any protective coating, 
or plastic from the carbon filters that are inside and then reinstalling the top and inserting them into the printer. Doesn't take very long, but you're gonna make sure you clean your hands after removing the coating from the filters so you don't actually dirty the machine itself. Overall, if you're a beginner who is looking for a printer that's easy to set up, it's become increasingly streamlined and N3 Premium is no exception to that. So you're gonna get a good print without too much effort on your end during the setup process. Now let's talk more about the air purifiers because they are a more unique quality of this printer in any Cubix lineup, as well as a more broad appeal option versus something like an automatic feeding system or a camera that may be for more serious users that are printing a lot. Now, in terms of operation, it's very simple. You can either activate it via the button or with a recent firmware update, it's been solved where these will turn on automatically when the machine turns on. So you won't run into that issue of before where if you forgot to activate these before a print, they would not be running during the printing process. Now, in terms of what they do to keep it more clean in terms of your airflow, it is supposed to remove about 80% of odors in 10 minutes of printing. Now, usually you're suspicious of whether something like this is more of a gimmick. Now, I won't say this will replace the need for a mask or a possible secondary air purifier, depending on how many printers you have going, but it does significantly reduce any resin odor that you're gonna get from something like the VAT. Overall, they're a nice addition for someone that's a little more concerned about possible toxicity or just is more sensitive. But again, I would still recommend better safety procedures with these just as a more accessible option that makes it a little easier to keep things clean. Now let's talk about the printing experience with the M3 Premium. Now typically when testing out the printer, I like printing a mix of actual miniatures and middle-sized models because they get the kind of quality and size range that I enjoy the most. Now from that regard, usually I'm dealing with a mixture of pieces that are large pieces themselves or pieces that are broken up into multiple different ones. So I want a larger build area so I can fit these all on the plate at once. Now the M3 Premium definitely delivers in that regard and there is improved adhesion with the laser engraved checkered build plate. Now another thing that is very useful is those that are normally concerned about questions like can I fill my that midway with resin during the printing process so it doesn't run out. Now it has a 1.35 liter resin vat, so you're gonna see a typical resin bottle disappear entirely when filling it up. So for those that are previously concerned about that, the increased capacity makes it much easier to print larger sizes multiple times in a row without having to add any actual resin to it. Now, even when it does get low, you'll be surprised by how many prints you can eke out of it just because of how wide the bill plate is and how much the resin spreads out when you're printing. So overall, it's a good safety net for those that are still figuring out how much they can get in terms of models per their bottle of resin. Now, another discussion is the cleaning follow-up that occurs with printers like these. Now, despite the bill plate being larger, and the vat being larger, I didn't find either very difficult to clean. The added weight really didn't change much when actually cleaning them via the typical methods. Now there was one specific note with the build plate of the M3 Premium that was unfortunate. The upward facing bolts here would typically get tiny pools of resin inside of them. So if you were setting aside the build plate to clean, you would typically have to do a little more effort in cleaning to actually get these cleaned out. So it typically takes something like a cotton swap in there just to remove any resin buildup that wouldn't come out when using something like a spray bottle and IPA. Now, it wasn't as big an issue if I was doing a follow-up print and typically wouldn't worry about it then because it was already going to plunge back into the resin shortly thereafter. But it was something I wanted to acknowledge when you're thinking about putting the M3 Premium away and not using it for a while. Now, in terms of slicing software, you're going to be working with Anycubic's Photon Workshop to some degree when dealing with their printers, usually out of the gate. Now, Photon Workshop is something I typically don't use besides basic functionality because I prefer actually editing my files and adjusting things like supports and other slicers like Lychee Slicer. Now, the version of Photon Workshop you would use with M3 Premium is much the same as other versions of Photon Workshop. It's a little sluggish 
in terms of responsiveness. So you're probably gonna wanna use an outside slicer if your computer can handle it and you're fine with experimenting otherwise. Now with pre-supported models, this isn't too much of a big deal. You can usually just import them into Photon Workshop and do your arrangement and then slice them for your actual uses. But overall, it's not too much of a big deal, but it is a slight downside when working with any Cubic products. So let's talk about the M3 Premium in terms of print results and the print quality you're going to get from this AK printer. Now to test this, I decided to use Anycubic's ABS like Resin Pro mostly just because it allows a bit more bendability on some models. So I do like to print more delicate pieces and having that little bit of extra give assures there is a less of a chance of a potential breakage when working with it. Now, another measure is I do like to have some older models that I can reprint over and over again just to look for quality differences when comparing different resolution printers. Now, for this, I tested two different models, one that I've printed from 4K resolution on up to 8K now, as well as one that I've printed at a 6K resolution and then printed at 8K. In both cases, the differences are more minuscule and something that you need more of a careful eye to notice. But if you're something like a 3D modeler or someone that's really trying to get as much detail as you can, the improvements to things like slight muddying and getting more of an overall sharpness to your models from it can be quite valuable. Overall, I was really pleased with the M3 Premium's print results across a variety of models and their sizes. Overall, it's something that you're going to need to weigh against your use case, but for those looking to get more detail in, it can be a worthy investment. Now for the M3 Premium, there's a question of whether it's worthy of the premium name and the potentially premium price point. Now, if you're looking to upgrade your quality, that's a definite bonus there, and you have things like the air purifiers to make for a more inclusive environment. So if you're a first time buyer of a 3D printer that's looking to print miniatures and middle sized models, it can be an easy recommendation in my opinion. Now, if you're someone that's more conservative and wants to learn on a smaller, cheaper, printer first off, that's completely fine as well. Overall, the things you're gonna to wanna to weigh is how much quality do you need and what's your intended purpose, as well as whether the N3 Premium and its sizing can fit in your home or work area. Now, another thing to consider is things like wash and cure stations are more accessible than ever, so if you want the quality and very clean finished print results, you can definitely take advantage of any Cubic's overall system. So again, just consider what you need and how much quality you need in your models. The M3 Premium does everything to be a very accessible entry that can appeal to a wide range of users. So it's just up to whether it suits your use case. I want to thank Anycubic for providing the Photon M3 Premium testing unit and for everyone watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and be sure to subscribe to the Make Use Of YouTube channel for more content like this. As always, thank you for watching.